The NHL Department of Player Safety has suspended two players, including Corey Perry and Curtis McDermott, and recently fired Dallas Stars head coach Jim Montgomery, who was let go for unprofessional conduct, has released a statement shedding some light on what was going on. We'll get into all those details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some news from the NHL, including a couple suspensions and a statement from Jim Montgomery, which we'll get to here momentarily. First off, I want to kick things off with the Department of Player Safety announcing they've suspended Kings defenseman Curtis McDermott for two games for an illegal check to the head against Philadelphia Flyers defenseman Ivan Provorov. In the video that Player Safety released discussing the suspension, they did indicate that they felt McDermott could have altered the angle and or the timing of this hit, which could have resulted in her not being head contact with Ivan Provorov. Clearly, this was considered a reckless play. He does not have any prior history. He's played just over 70 NHL games. Nothing like this has ever come up before, and they've suspended him for two games. I do think this suspension is more than fair, given the fact that McDermott is still relatively new to the NHL and has no prior history. I think two games is fine, but I do agree that it was a reckless hit. Uh, the angle and or timing could have been adjusted to avoid primary contact with the head. There was some contact made with the shoulder before the head contact was made, but it's not necessarily it's the first point of contact it's with the primary point of contact and Provorov's head took the brunt of the hit here which is why they've proceeded with the suspension now of course we saw Dallas Stars forward Corey Perry be ejected early into the NHL Winter Classic game in Dallas versus the Nashville Predators after he was given a major penalty in game misconduct for an elbow to the head of Predators defenseman Ryan Ellis now of course if you didn't see this play I'll link both of those plays down in the description so you can take a look at the situations here now, in the case of Corey Perry, he was cutting across the blue line. Ellis had the puck and was getting ready to shoot the puck on net. I do believe that Perry did not intentionally try to hurt Ellis. I don't think he went out there thinking he was going to elbow him in the head or the face area. Uh, clearly, he was trying to cut in front of him to play the puck, but he got there too late, ended up getting an elbow directly into Ellis's head. It was a reckless play, certainly could have been avoided. Unfortunately, Perry does have a history. This is not his first suspension. This will be the third time he's been suspended, so clearly NHL player safety is considering him a repeat offender because of that, and they've given him a five-game ban. Uh, I do think this is another call that I agree with, justified. I think player safety in both of these situations have uh, given out appropriate suspension. Combine the fact that Ellis was injured and he has history, which is why we have a five-game ban for Corey Perry. But, of course, as always, I want to know what your thoughts are on both of these suspensions. Did the NHL get these deals right? Do you think the right number of games were given here? And as I said as well, I'll make sure they're linked down in the description so you can have a look at them if in case you haven't already seen what took place in those games. Now, as I mentioned as well, we also have an update on former Dallas Stars head coach Jim Montgomery, who was recently fired for unprofessional conduct. Now, as we all know here in the past couple of months, we've seen a lot in the coaching world when it comes to uh, off-ice unprofessional type behavior, which has certainly led to some coaches being fired and or suspended. Uh, some of it happened a long time ago. Some of it was more recent. But in the case of the Dallas Stars, all we really learned from the uh, Jim Nill press conference when after he was let go was that it was unprofessional conduct. He really wouldn't speak to uh, what exactly took place and we don't know exactly what the incident was but the statement from Montgomery will certainly shed some light into what was going on with him uh, personally behind the scenes that many of us probably didn't know about and I'll read you his statement here now that he released earlier today. Losing my job as head coach of the Dallas Stars last month was a wake-up call. It was also the appropriate call. I let the team's front office, staff and players down. More importantly, I let my wife and my family down. The team's decision to end my role forced me to look in the mirror and decide whether I wanted to continue living a damaging lifestyle or get help. I decided to get help. I turned to professionals in the field of alcohol abuse for their guidance and counseling. It has been an overwhelming and very humbling experience knowing that I am not alone. Today, with the unconditional support of my wife and family and many close friends, I took another step forward by admitting myself into an inpatient residential program where I intend to take the steps to be a better husband, father, friend, coach, and mentor one day at a time. It's a process I am committed to. As I do this, I ask my family's privacy be respected. Thanks, Monty. 
So even though we don't know the exact incident and the fine details of what exactly happened, which led to him being fired, clearly he was struggling with alcoholism, has admitted that he needs help, and is seeking the help. So I certainly commend him for getting his life on track or trying to get things sorted out here. Uh, and certainly releasing this statement publicly is something that probably took a lot of courage, and I certainly admire him for that. Clearly the stars didn't really want to get into things too much. Uh, obviously, you never know when these types of things come up. There could be some pending lawsuits. Uh, they could potentially fight the firing through legal matters or whatnot so i certainly understood uh, jim nill's uh, lack of detail i guess we could say in the press conference even though as a fan uh, it's kind of frustrating to not know exactly what's going on when you're saying somebody's been fired from the organization who played a very pivotal role it do not know what goes on certainly uh, is frustrating but at the same time when you look at it from a legal perspective there has to be privacy there because there certainly can be fallout from those types of situations so i guess we wish the best to jim montgomery it's uh, good to see that he's trying to get everything back in order here but I guess the fact that he's gone public with this and is seeking help and treatment will likely give him a possibility at least of maybe getting another opportunity someday in the future as a potential coach in the NHL again. I guess only time will tell. We'll have to see what the future of Jim Montgomery holds, but at least it's good to see that he's trying to get his life on track and is seeking help to overcome his demons. So of course, as always, we'll know your thoughts and opinions on the suspensions as well as the Jim Montgomery statement. Do you think he'll ever get an opportunity to coach in the NHL again, assuming he's successful with his rehab program that he's gone through? through here right now let me know your thoughts down in the comments and we'll continue the conversation if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well i'd appreciate it if you did as always thank you for watching and i will catch you next time